My name's Kate Rose, and I took the course in 2006. My name is Danielle Cabral, and I took this class in the fall of 2015. My name is Nick Belmore, and I took the course in 2016. The setup of the class itself was different, so it was um, kind of uh, a little bit more of a seminar in the sense that we sort of sat in a circle and had a lot of conversation in the class. It's not a class that you take and it's like, okay, you need to learn this material and there's going to be a test on it. It's read the material and what was challenging about this? What did you learn from this? A lot of classes you take, you, you learn about history and you learn names and dates, um, but there really isn't any connection at all to, to the actual events um, that you're talking about. And this class is a lot different. So you, you do learn that historical piece um, but in studying the literature of the Holocaust as well, it forces you to really engage with uh, this, this period in history in a much different way. What particularly struck me about this course in comparison to anything else you would take here um, is the depth and rigor uh, that was asked of both students and, and, and the instructors. I would say that the primary lesson I took from the seminar is the danger in rushing to interpret, the danger in rushing to generalize, the danger in rushing to analysis before questioning your own method of analysis, your own method of understanding. It was probably one of the most difficult experiences I had as a student. Um, and it, it, you know, it wasn't about writing a paper or doing something. It was uh, trying to to face and deal with emotionally this material and, and finding a way to articulate that. You have to find a lens to which to, to view that, you know, and I think for me, I started viewing these things through, you know, the lens of my experience, which is not something I really had engaged with in a college class in the past. It's one of the most interesting courses I've taken. It pushes you on an intellectual level and on a personal level to become a better student and a, a better questioner, I guess you could say. I would say that the primary reason for taking this course is personal transformation. If you seek to develop your critical thinking skills, your imagination, your ability to engage beyond uh, affect, then you need to consider very seriously taking uh, a seminar such as this one. If you're even contemplating taking the class, then do it. Um, it's 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 transformational if you uh, if you want it to be. This will be a class that will change your life.